hi guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel i'm balbiga and it's your first time here welcome karibu sana and please subscribe for more videos and if you are a returning subscriber kama kawaida thank you for staying tuned ah. In today's video, we are going to be talking about business mistakes that I did. If, you were, if you've watched my previous video, I'm talking about um, my business, how I started it and how I closed it and everything else in between that happened. So if you've not watched it, I'm going to link it up here so that you can go and watch it. So guys, let's get right into the video. So guys. Um, I have some points that I've written down. So you see me, Nikki Mama. It's not anything me book nangaria in my hair. <laughs> so, so guys, I think uh, these are some of the things that, as later as I was thinking about my business, what I should have done and what I did wrong. So these are some of the points that I'm going to be sharing with you. So in case you're thinking of starting a business, whether physical or online, please keep watching up until the end to at least get all these points. So guys, I think uh, once you start asking yourself, um, once you get that thought of opening and um, starting a business, the first question you're supposed to ask yourself is what kind of a business am I starting? What if ni kuza mtumba, if ni kuza accessories, if ni ku import stuff, you know, like you just have to ask yourself what kind of a business am I starting? Because that is where you start even like knowing everything that you need after that. You first have to identify the business and know why am I starting this business? You get like so. Let us say our business today will be kuzam tush. So thrifting, it's called thrifting, but ni kuzam tush. So our business today is thrifting. So we've decided our business, right? So the other thing you're supposed to do is who are your target audience? I'm a clientele. I'm a customers. Unataka kuka target akina nani? Because guys, um. Kuna age groups mingi sana. Kuna one, zero to five years. Au ni watoto. Like, au ni wenye. Those are your target. But those are, you know, you're targeting moms. Kwa zao ndo unauzia. You get? And then, saa kuna, like, well, let's say just kuna watoto in general. If ni nguwa za watoto, you're targeting the ya moms. Because the ya moms ndo wananunua. And then, kuna hawa wenye wakwapa ki teenage hood kenye, you know, hawa jia lewi, lewi, hivi. Hawa, pia hawa, it's the ya moms, but most of the time, hawa ndo wanakuza kujibaya. You get what I'm saying? And then, the other thing is, kama una target slay queens, ama, you know, kama una target slay queens, unajua squeezy wanendanisha na fashion. So, you have to know that, uh, my target audience ni hawa. If hawa ndo target audience yangu, this is what they like. And this is what I should do to like capture them. To capture them and make them happy. You can't. Like ukisha identify your audience ama your clientele. Hapo sandu unanza kujua what does your clientele want. So our business is mtumba and our audience is campus girls. Sindio? That's the easiest. After that, where is the location? Where are you going to open up your business? One, unauza mtumba na two, unataget campus girls. Siku expect ni kupate usha guki uza izongu honestly. I expect ni kupate somewhere kwenye kuna kampo. Ama somewhere close to a campus. Ama an online shop yenye utaku unataget the campus girls. You getting me? So... After you've decided the business, you've decided who you're targeting, now you start deciding where am I going to do this business? Is it going to be a physical shop or is it going to be an online shop? If it's an online shop, eh, nitafungua Instagram page, ama Facebook page, ama nitatengeneza WhatsApp group, ama nitakuwa naika kwa status. You get in like, please only locations, it's only that they're not physical. If ni physical shop, chukua mia mintika so campus ni hapa MKU. So, if ni MKU naenda hapo MKU. Ama if si MKU naenda, thika jioni. You get, like, nishanza kwa identify the business, my clientele and kwenye nitafanya biashara. After that now, the other thing you have to know is your budget. If ni nauza mtumba na ninaifanya online, 2,000 bob is enough for me. Niende tops, nikuje na ni resell. 
you can't if ninaanza kuza accessories how much do i need like girl ask yourself how much do you need to start this business and i think this is one of the problems some of the mistakes that i did when i was starting up my physical shop because i was like i didn't consider after ninaanza duka how much am i going to need after that to keep my business running am i able to continue providing for myself all that money munashika and then guys the other very very important thing that most people do not do is doing your research you have to do your research kama unafungua uh, an online shop lazima uende u google how do i run an online shop how do i run a business like you know like uende ujue enda instagram ujue instagram inakupatianga what features that are covering you as an online business kama ni nje jua kanjo wanakuanga je wanaitishanga do ngapi wanakimizanga watu saa ngapi like hizo ndo research zenye most people do not ask and then you start your business na unajipata tuko bore ho bore tu ujui kenye like you just there so hapa kwa research i am not guilty because i did my research the other thing ask for opinions ama advice from older people watu wenye wamekuwa kwa hizo mabiashara before like you can go to maybe for me i went to my sister i asked her and she was like that's a good idea i asked my brother he was like hey, it's a good idea and then there's this one that i called my grandmother my favorite grandmother and she was like i asked her for advice and she advised me and she told me what i should do and blah you know like you just have to look for that one person when you have something in common kama ni msemo yako na biashara kama wewe you get ama ni mseme kuwa in the business ama in the in the what do you call this yeah, you in the business in the business for a long time mtu ana understand how business is done how is it run you get me me personally i asked my grandmother and she told me she gave me a lot of advice and um after that case we sasa ni kuambia what i did cuz wa ah, that's a story for another day so after now you you now you've done all those steps you may ask for advice and everything so so far like now you have like almost everything that you need to start your business mnashika tuko pamoja the other thing is you start you have to decide if your your your, your shop is a physical shop you have to have a thing cuz guys let me tell you something siku hizi watu wafungui biashara tu of your of your hobera hobera especially if you're targeting the young generation you don't just wake up and start a business like lazima ukwe like mimi me as a girl as a woman as a young person i want to get into a shop and i feel wow this place looks awesome you get i want to go into a shop and i feel this is amazing this is what i have been looking for this is what has been missing in the market you get like lazima uweze kutengeneza ka shop kazuri ka shop relatable according to the theme kama ni ya watoto kuwa na vitu fanye tunafanya msana feel wow this is so cool this is calm this is baby you get like inapea mtu yoka baby feeling ama kama ni una target watu the older generation wana feel this is a mature place for me he see place ni nasikia utoto but tena see place na feel nimezeeka sana si mnashika hapa tell there we are together i will leave a comment down below tell me what are your thoughts kai nasikia kama ni some couple thing he after that you have to know do you need customer service assistance What I mean is do you need somebody to help you come on your online shop will you be able to handle the DMs will you be able to post on time will you be able to take photos of every like do you need an assistant in other an assistant in other words that is a masking you have to know come on your assistant and then before you decide come on your assistant you need to do your math one if this business is going to pay you pay itself and pay for uh, pay the assistant and pay for itself you get for itself ina maanisha kama ni duka inajilipia kama ni stock inajinunulia tena that is what i'm saying so before you you consider getting an assistant ama getting help you have to know that hizo vitu zote mnashika the other thing is <coughs> sorry guys the other thing is make a list of all the things that you're going to need because what what are you want to do let's say nina enda mtumba and i'm making my shop online you're going to make maybe a white page sheet nye utakuwa unaikelea vitu zako upige picha vizuri 
sindio you're going to need uh, like some kadeko ama something like to accessorize the pieces you're going to need these things not necessarily you buy them you just need to know what you need you just need to know hivi ndo unataka you get picha zangu ndakuwa napiga hivi sorry guys picha zangu nitakuwa napiga hivi so if napiga hivi this is this and this is what i need this and this is what you get like una una unaenda uki identify kitu chenye utahitaji kama ni a physical shop ninahitaji mbao za kuweka kulai ninahitaji kupaintisha duka ninahitaji kununua shelves ninahitaji display nahitaji 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 so at the end of the day you end up having a very detailed list of what you need and if it is possible go for the prices okay what you need plus the prices of what you're going to be buying for your own sake for your budget kwa sababu guys ukaanza kuanza ka biashara kama mimi vile nilifanya imagine you end up at the end of the day you end up kujipata you've messed things up and the only thing that you've done is made a loss and i don't want you to go through a loss because it's the most painful thing <clears throat> the other thing is have a business plan like unajua like a business plan to imagine plan it vitu vizuri you go you can go online and search about everything about your business plan about like wewe ukwe tu umejipanga like ile si jokes you take this as a company no matter how small that business is take it as a company you know because uki mismanage pesa biashara inaweza anguka uki ukikuwa msingi tena sana biashara bado inaweza anguka cuz there's no way utaniambia unakataa ku restock ama unakataa ku develop your shop i don't want to come into the shop 5 years later na pata iko the same ama 10 years later na pata iko the same eh hey, the same at least ongezea ka accessory kamoja you get what i'm saying hey guys the other most important thing in a business is bookkeeping like ukwe unajua hii iliuzwa hii siku hii ilinunuliwa hii siku tulinunua hii bei tukauza hii bei imeleta profit ya hii bei you get like cause guys bookkeeping inakusaidia anga kujua venye shop yako inaendelea it doesn't matter whether it's online or physical this applies to everybody bookkeeping is the, like it's like it's like life man the bookkeeping ni uhai like okay in a business you get cause if today you don't you don't haujaweza kukuwa na bookkeeping poa unaweza jipata you've bought things ama you've wasted money and then the other thing guys separate business money and personal money because those two are not the same business money and personal money are not the same hata kama zote ni zako hata kama biashara ni wewe it's not the same once you separate business money and uh, personal money jilipe kutoka kwa biashara but usichukue pesa ya biashara ikuwe yako nani get Oof, honey it feels so nice so guys the other thing that i'm going to give you here tasijaandika kwa hii notebook kwa chat ni yake ni nisha mlana nayo the other thing that i'm going to tell you guys is ukienda kununua stock usiende mara moja if let's say umeamua kufungua a physical this sana sana applies for physical shop because with a physical shop you need to stock up as much as you can If maybe na umefungua physical shop ya accessories na nini do not go once kununua vitu atuende leo urudi na vitu za 100k do not because unaweza ende upate leo ulipata huyu mama akakwambia hii inakwanga 200 and then at the end of the day you find out uko chini ya 100 bob na mlete ulishanunua zote at 200 unaimagine when you make a scare vibe ama mimi ni mimi tu na mimi ai mimi hata tembo buniuma On imagine when you scared by so it helps plus pain na kusaidia anga ku familiarize yourself na kwenye unaendea vitu plus pain na inakupea like just don't do it once you can go twice thrice ama hata five times as much as you want but please do not go once especially kama ni ni vitu unanunua for resale do not go once cuz wa utasikia uchungu ya roho hani utasikia uchungu ya roho once you discover that maybe uliuzi wa expensive ama maybe kwenye ulienda it's not the best so guys kindly like share and subscribe to this channel because nikiendelea kuongea i will talk here up until next so you know guys when you come miss me vlog i can't even wait for i think kesho i'm going to take my nails off 
uh, kutoa hizi kucha na salon na kuvisit stangu so i am going to be doing a vlog for you guys i really hope it works so najua but if i go guys be sure we are vlogging so thank you so much guys for watching thank you for subscribing if you've not subscribed kindly hit the subscribe button down below your color red and it is free imagine it is free by the way and you guys thank you oh my god imagine you want to create content and you guys were still here you are still subscribing from our next video starting from like the, the video that will go after this one i'm going to be giving shout out to every new subscriber if you subscribe now when again imagine that one of shout out every day every video someone else is subscribed on a party shout out imagine so guys <laughs> but i am not mad i am very normal only that i am talkative energetic and pretty as you all can see <laughs> So guys, and also guys, let me ask you, sorry, this video is not a question, but let me ask you, leave video ideas that you'd like to see me do, hook her down in the comment section, hauls, DIYs, whatever, Kenya unataka, kama ni haul unyombi, nataka haul ya gikomba, I will go for you guys, kama ni haul unataka, leave a comment down below and tell me where you'd like to see me go and do a haul for you guys, because budget thrift haul is coming up soon for you all because when you know i can't of you to have to end the video thank you guys for watching thank you for subscribing if you've not subscribed kindly hit the subscribe button down below and until next time bye bye and work towards your dreams Mwah.